welcome back to my channel. My name is Evelyn. I'm a grad student studying library science. And today I am bringing you friends. Hi, friends. Come here. Say hello. hello. Some of you may recognize these friends from uh, old videos, but if you're new here, uh, well, everyone, tell, tell the viewers your names. I'm Jacob. I'm Sonia. Today the friends are going to be helping me uh, bake. Uh, today, what are we baking, friends? Macarons! Macarons! Yeah. <laughs> um, this is a series uh, here on the channel called Baking with Books. So not only will we be baking, but they'll also be telling you, in honor of the channel rebrand, about a children's book they recommend. I only uh, told Sonia. <laughs> oh, we're starting to bake. <laughs> this is not normal behavior. Yeah, see, of course he's in here. <laughs> Beans. Perfect. Thank you, Jacob. Oh, mm. oh, oh, very strong. Bean smell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just gonna call that half Snip it. Oh. <laughs> Vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? I'm Sonia. <laughs> and what do you do? I am currently an MFA student in entering my third year at the University of Minnesota, and I write creative nonfiction. All right, and is there a children's book you'd like to recommend for the audience today? Yes, I am recommending The Mona Lisa Vanishes by Nicholas Day, um, which is a book that talks about the history of the Mona Lisa's fame, um, which sort of stems from this one incident where it was stolen from the Louvre. Um, and it also talks about the um, life of Leonardo da Vinci, the artist who painted the Mona Lisa, and entwines these two stories in a kind of mystery sort of way. I like this book because I uh, am a big fan of history and I'm also a nonfiction writer and so end up writing a lot of historical creative nonfiction and a lot of it is not super engaging especially the stuff for adults is very very dry and this book which is written for kids was one of the most engaging books I've read in a long time and I would recommend it for children but also maybe for adults. Okay so where we're at right now <laughs> is um... What's baking without a little chaos? This one didn't put the blades in. I don't know where the blades are though, so that's that's fair. This one put. Oh, jeez. Right. It's like R two D two. This one put all of the ingredients into the blender without questioning the fact that there wasn't a blade. Okay. To be fair, they wouldn't Team have all fit Lord. in there. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Tian, we need a big bowl. Oh. Did you just break that whisk? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was just messing with the handle. <laughs> we did it. Oh my god, no! No! I thought that might have been wrong. I'm holding this. You're gonna lift it, yeah. Okay. Alright, now just take that off and let it all fall in the bowl. Have you misaligned it and now it's stuck? Yeah, it's not 
Forget it. You, you hold the top part. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just take the top off the lid. This thing comes apart in too many ways. There is a blade. Okay, it just did not it like how that stuff <laughs> put in there. It just did not do anything. I didn't like the smell of the blade. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Um, okay, so I none of this is my fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hello. Hey. What is your name? I'm Jacob. And what do you do? I work at Macmillan Children's Books as a managing editor. All right, and what children's book would you like to recommend for <laughs> <Yeah>. us today? <laughs> so that serves as a disclaimer for the book I'm about to recommend. Um, the book I would like to recommend that I love a lot is called A First Time for Everything. It is a graphic novel memoir uh, written by Caldecott medal winner Dan Santat. It, this book has appeared on 15 best book of the year lists uh, as of 2023. And it is a story about Dan Santat's experience in middle school when he goes on a trip to Europe. And he, at the time, he was being bullied a lot. He didn't really fit in. And so it's a story about finding a sense of belonging and also doing things for the first time, like trying Fanta for the first time and stealing motorbikes for the first time <laughs> and also finding first love. And so it's a love story and about finding belonging. And it's beautiful. The art is amazing. It's really funny. It's really smart. And I love it so much. And I hope everyone else gets the chance to experience it and love it too. All right. Thank you. Thank you. What is your name? I'm Olivia. And what do you do? I'm the communications coordinator at the Iowa Reading Research Center. And what book do you have to talk about today? Today, I'm bringing <laughs> the audience the third V.E. Schwab book that I've recommended in this Baking with Book series. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recommending her middle grade series starting, it's the Cassidy Blake series, but this first one is City of Ghosts. Basically, Cassie Blake is a young girl who can see ghosts. Her best friend, Jacob, is a ghost. And the funny thing is that her parents are the inspectors. They're like famous ghost hunters. And her life gets upended when her parents get a deal to film a ghost hunting show in Edinburgh, Scotland. So they move to Edinburgh and there's lots of ghostly experiences there and she learns more about her power and the purpose of her power and things go awry and it gets pretty pretty messy but <laughs> um it's very interesting if you like spooky things but appropriate for middle grade level all right perfect everyone went european which i think is interesting <laughs> interesting yeah <laughs> i guess if it's the theme yeah, macarons. Yeah, so now I have to go European. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> All right. Yeah, that would be good. Today's installment of Writer's Dream Math. No, Jacob. So yes, we've started Jacob. with hand whisking, but okay. I don't think we're gonna get very far with this, so. I don't think so either, but also- We just wanted to follow the instructions. super aggressive whiskers. It's you scary, there's it. egg stuff it's everywhere. Sure. It's scary there's egg stuff everywhere? For those watching at home, the time is currently 11.21. Can we play Mission Impossible music in the background? Is that... I'm Jeopardy? I'm Mission Impossible related. Yeah. Oh. yeah! information science graduate student. Oh, hello. <laughs> Sonia. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even think about that. Okay, so the book that I have to recommend for you is the sequel to Laura Taylor Namie's A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow. It's called A British Girl's Guide to Hurricanes and Heartbreak. And in the first book, we follow Lila, who is from Miami. And she ends up going to England and some stuff happens and she makes some friends there. And one of them is a girl named Flora. And in this book we follow Flora when she travels from England to Miami. And she is struggling because her mother has recently passed due to complications with early onset Alzheimer's, I believe. And so she is there to sort of recenter herself and find herself and there's not as much baking in it as in the first book but uh, there is still quite a lot of baking and she is also learning how to express herself through her photography so not quite as european as the others a little bit of a, a flip-flop there but um yeah i really love everything I've read from Laura Taylor Namie. Also, Laura Taylor Namie herself is just so nice and cool. Um, and so, totally recommend both of those books. Um, it could just be a butter knife, Jacob. Yeah. Butter knife. Butter knife. <laughs> Do you not know what a butter knife is? It's just doing a bit. <laughs> yeah! Either. But it is sweet. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like getting macaroni vibes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why do you think it's supposed to be crunchier on the outside? It's supposed to be a little bit of a. Well, I, I guess if it was in the fridge for 
Oh my gosh, Trump. Twelve hours. Am I might settle for a news I thought that was great. Yeah, it's really it, I mean, yeah, they're really good. I'm actually kind of re really amazed by I'm kind of impressed how close they are. I love the I love the little flecks of vanilla bean that we got in there. Mm -hmm. It actually lovely. works out really, really well. They're very good. Mm -hmm. I just eat all with right as now. many things that went badly. I'm 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 wrong. Bl actually blown away completely. <laughs> also, weirdly, possibly one of our more to chuckle. I know. Right? <laughs> oh yeah, the most. Like, uh, difficult, mm -hmm. according to the world. Mm -hmm. Better than heart cookie. Better than <laughs> better than all the things we burned. <laughs> <laughs> we burned we didn't dump those scones the first time.